Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. As always, let's hop into the calendar, see where we're headed, and uh, hop in that race car. We've got just two races left in the season, and today we are headed to Phoenix International Raceway. So I do remember in the trucks being pretty bad here. Um, I'm, I'm sure that's gonna come over to the cup cars as well. But we'll see. The engine's blown. Cool. So I'm recording this a couple days after the uh, Cup Series Championship race at Phoenix. I'm a big Corey Heim fan, so I was bummed that uh, Majeski won, but he definitely had the best truck for the weekend. Um, I'm, I'm glad Allgaier finally got his championship, but I definitely felt like he had moved out of line uh, on that last restart or the next to last restart, but uh, didn't get called, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then um, I think I read that Joey Logano has the worst average finish position for a Cup Series champion ever, which if that doesn't show how goofy this format is, I, I don't know what will, but uh, we'll see if there's any any format changes going into next year. This will be the question for today. Assuming that we can't change playoffs, there will always be NASCAR playoffs. Assuming we can't go back to a full season points format, what is your ideal format? I was watching um, Eric E steps out of the groove yesterday and he mentioned a format where basically the first round is one race and then every other round is three races and I think I like that format a lot um, I'll link his video down below if you want to see um, him talk about all of it I think he said like the the top eight would essentially get a buy for that first race. But yeah, let me know down below. What is your ideal championship playoff format for NASCAR? So this is like my fifth time making changes and I still have not run a better lap than I did with the default setup. Um, times like this make me wonder uh, if I have any idea what I'm doing, but uh Sorry, bud but Yeah, hopefully uh, I can make the car a little faster Because we're still pretty slow I Finally did it. It only took seven laps Clear on eyes. my fifth setup but I finally <laughs> beat my best lap time. Oh man, I made one more round of changes. I'm gonna hope I can uh, get a little faster again, but who knows? It is very disheartening to watch like the, the crappy cars, you know, kind of drive off <laughs> at the end of a corner. I don't like that one bit. All clear. I also don't like forgetting how to drive. I think I'm gonna have to go back on the last change I did because the car feels even tighter going out of the corner, which is exactly what I was trying to fix. If this doesn't fix the car, I don't know what in the world will. Still there. Hopefully. That doesn't hurt my lap time All too clear. much. Oh, that is, uh, that is a big wreck behind me. There's a spin in turn three. 
So the car definitely feels better just on the like initial fire off. We'll see what I can do this lap. And if it's worse, I I don't know what to do. Oh, he just blowed up. That's fine. Yeah, stay in the racing groove. Drop that oil everywhere, buddy. You know, that lap was pretty good. And the car feels way better than it did. I know I just hit a wall, but that's besides the point. I'm going to qualify. We're going to hope for the best this race. 27.5. Our best lap is a second and a half slower than that. This is ridiculous. Did not want to turn coming out of the corner. Come on, good three and four. I got too close and had to turn right a little bit. All right, let's see where we play. Yeah, 28 8, so that's about a tenth off our best lap. But yeah, we're not going to start very well this race. Seventeenth is honestly a lot better than <laughs> what I expected, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see how this race goes. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun in Phoenix International Raceway. This gem in the desert has been shining since 1964. With its unique design and beautiful surroundings, it's earned its reputation as one of the top visits on the circuit. Thanks, Alan. Get set. So we have 41 laps of this. Oh my god. Car high. So that is two entire fuel runs plus a couple laps. Still there. Which I'm sure we can save a couple laps of fuel. That's not Car high. That's not too hard, but This, this should be, this should be Clear real high. fun. Car low. Yeah, we don't like slides like that on lap number two. That is uh, Stay high. Still there. less than ideal. Still there. Thank you for the spot, good sir. Hi, Kevin. Still there. All clear. So, I have a feeling there. At some point, I'm going to hit the apron and hopefully not blow up, but, uh... Still there. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to spin out at some point from hitting the apron. I'm trying really hard, too, to keep the car clean. They're all clear. Like... We're on lap number five, I think, and I haven't hit anything yet. Feel like that's almost Still a there. record. Somebody fact check me because I have no idea. But uh, five laps with no damage is unheard of. Stay low. Still there. 
Roger, three wide. Oh, sorry, three bud. Wide. Oh, that's probably some damage. You're all clear. The yellow's out. Okay. Turn one. You're all clear. Well. I'm going to not pit. I know that's crazy. Pace cars out. But, uh. Yeah, I'm just going to not pit and see what happens. There's obviously no way I could make it if I pit now, so. Yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead. Hope for the best. Get set. The race is going green. Well, that's been an interesting start. We've had two cautions that, uh, Still there. I somehow wasn't like the main cause of both. Stay low. Still there. All clear. Hi, Apron. I actually don't want to drive on you because that's bad. Also, all that sliding is bad too. I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> trying to lift a little early and coast Still more there. to uh, try and conserve a little bit of fuel. You're all clear. Okay, Jeff. Yeah, I was like, you better save that. I don't even, I don't even think I hit him. I think he's just being dramatic. Maybe could have lifted a little earlier there. <laughs> Maybe. There's a wreck in turn one. Who's wrecking in turn one? Why are all these people wrecking? My right front is just a bit angry. He'll be fine though.
So we've got five laps of fuel. I am gonna try and stretch that as far as possible. Hi, Mark. Car high. So yeah. Out. Well, I was gonna say if we can go four more laps, then uh, we will have stretched it far enough. But uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna pit this time around for sure. Eight cars out. I have no idea who will or won't pit, so we might end up going way back. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy that we have one of the cleaner cars in the field. Like, looking at us and then looking at Dave Laney behind us. Tony Stewart's pretty wrecked. The 55, the 31. Like, we're one of the few guys that hasn't hit everything. <laughs> Come on, bucketheads. Look at that. We didn't even have damage time. That's how good of a driver I am. Oh, come on, pass everybody. Pass everybody. Let's go. All the bucket heads are getting bonuses this week. So I believe at this point we should be maybe one or two laps short on fuel, but I'm definitely going to try and save that. And uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it looks like everybody's pitting again, so... I think I'm gonna become the leader. I love this game. Okay, the guy that was in second just pulled off the pit. Now, this game is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Okay, we officially led a lap. Right. Let's go. So we have 16 laps of fuel, I think 18 laps to go in the race. Oh my goodness. Now in this game, I don't think you save any fuel under caution, because why would you? That doesn't make sense at all, you know, when you're going. 60 miles an hour instead of 140 you would think you would use less fuel but no not how this game works so really we don't want cautions we just want to uh drive nice and smooth i can't imagine i hold on to the lead but i just want to run as many smooth laps as possible and not hit the apron Yeah, Tony Stewart is in second, and he is rapidly catching me, so. Um, we're certainly not winning this race, but by golly, we can try and stay up front. Ryan Newman was blocking Tony Stewart for me, so we might lead another lap. <laughs> There's a wreck in turn two. There's no wrecks. Everything's fine. Hi, Tony. Can't go that way. Car high. Can't go that way. Clear high. I'm gonna hold this lead as long as I can. I, uh, 
I definitely don't think I'm winning, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to block as much as I can. Good luck passing me high. Car high. That was all clear. That was maybe a little harder than uh, than I thought I was gonna hit him. Whoops. Ten laps to go. Car high. Oh no. Oh no, we're fine. He's fine. Everything's All fine. Clear. All is well. I mean, I kind of gave him permission to use the bumper when I used the bumper like 15 consecutive laps, so I can't really get mad about that one. Everything's fine. I wonder how Sterling Marlin lost the lead lap. Because he was, like, leading at one point, I thought. Yeah, I have very much lost the handle of the car at this point. <laughs> He might actually be faster than Harvick. Car low. Clear low. He's fine. Oh, he's he's less than fine. Okay, we're fine on fuel. We were able to save enough, which is nice, but uh the car is driving terrible now. <laughs> the car head is pinning. What? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Five laps to go. Car low. Well, we're back to sliding like crazy every time we hit the brakes. Absolutely love that. Big fan. Big fan of that. All clear. I didn't really mean to do that. My car is terrible, so if I'm if I'm running the center of the corner faster than you, you did something really wrong.
Carlo. Bobby, why? Two to go. Stay high. Still there. All clear. Still there. All clear. Man, Tony already took the white flag. We far are high. so far behind. All clear. Clear low. Lap, Come on, lap. one more good lap. Give me the top ten, please. That's Car not low. how we're gonna do it. Oh, lovely. Far high. Clear high. Oh, come on, stick. You're three wide. Stop standing. Oh, thank God. Well, you know, giant crash at the line, but that's okay. Oh, we're still crashing. It's beautiful. But hey, top 10. <laughs> we even led a good handful of laps. I uh, did not expect that in the slightest. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. That was fun. And there's a look at the race results. We did lead a few laps, so we got the five bonus points. So, very happy about that. Top 10, lead laps, and complain. I would say $116,000 is some money. If we can keep running well and keep profiting 100,000 plus every race, I think we'll be all right. So with one race to go, we've got 75 points on Atwood. Looks like Elias Sadler has dropped like a rock the last few weeks. Cause he was 21st for a while. He's dropped all the way back to 26th. And going into Homestead, Kurt Busch is 103 points back. Marlin is 47 back. And then Stewart, 38 back isn't this such a better point system where you actually get close battles because they're actual close battles and not manufactured just saying well friends that's gonna do it for another episode i just want to say a big thanks for watching leave a like if you liked the video comment if you've got anything to say and subscribe if you're not hope i catch you in the next one see ya